Hey, I'm Antoine Anderson. This is Black Investments Matter, the UJAMA Network. Most of us didn't come into this world knowing anything about finance, me included. Um, as far as cryptocurrency is concerned, we have watched markets go up, then crash back down, and then skyrocket back up again. What if you wanted to predict a particular action, if you knew something was going to happen, the potential for uh, cryptocurrency to go up, how would you set a point automatically to pull that money out or to sell that cryptocurrency so you can maximize those profits? This video is all about setting up limit buys and sells. We're going to show you how to do a limit sell using the Kraken exchange. Much like Coinbase, Kraken has multiple interfaces. Coinbase has its advanced as well as this regular interface that all of us are used to, the quick and easy one, where if you just want to get in, buy a cryptocurrency, get out, and, or sell and get out, that's what you do, especially for us newbies, people who are not day traders, people who don't have backgrounds in finance, where they're predicting graphs or even knowing how to read those graphs. Kraken has four different interfaces. It uses its old, its simplified, and the pro. And that's where we're going to be focusing our attention on is the pro version. So once you log in to Kraken, you're going to notice the chevrons in the upper right hand corner. And when you get to those chevrons, you're just going to click them and go to Kraken Pro. Now, once that opens, you're going to be into a much more advanced, professional looking interface. Now, the topic of the day is setting up those limit buys now the interface itself is maybe a little daunting but it's kind of straightforward you just got to know where to look let's go ahead and start by selecting the currency that we're going to try to set the limit buy on now to do that let's just take a look at our portfolio and you see i have shiba inu and ripple only a couple of dollars in them this is just for our examples so once we get out of our portfolio and go back to trade, top menu, let's get ready to set a particular limit. Now, what is a limit buy? That means we are going to set a price in which we are going to trigger an automatic sell of that cryptocurrency. So in my portfolio, I have about... Oh, about 16 XRP, valued at about $9.71. I'm rolling in the dough, right? Okay, go to trade. And what are we trying to do? We're going to sell in our order form. What kind of sell? Is this a market sell? We'll just sell it right now. No, this is a limit sell. Select limit. Now, here is where things get interesting. The limit price. Currently, XRP is trading at 59 cents a token. What if some miracle happens? It jumps to a dollar. Well, let's say a dollar 18. I want to double up. My little $10, I want it to become 20. All right? Let's set that limit price at $1.18, which is exactly double what we're doing right now. How much of the XRP? I got 16 available. I'm gonna go ahead and say $15 by inputting that right there. Now, what's the total? USD it'll be worth 17 minus the fees, right? Pretty good so far. And all you have to do at this point is set it by selling it at that limit. Right before you hit that button, you can read sell 15 XRP tokens for $17.70 at a limit price of a dollar eighteen. 
hit the button. Lower right hand corner. Limit cell is complete. You'll see it on the bottom just like a professional uh, uh, interface. It tells you when you set that date, that cell. Also things to note, when do you enforce it? It's good until I cancel it. You have options. Immediate or cancel, good until cancel, good until a specific date. And that's pretty much it. Now, the best advice I could give you is to contact your financial professional. That way you can develop a strategy of your own of when and why and how to do these things. Now, we've covered the how, but when should you do a limit buy or a limit sell or a stop loss? There's another option for stop losses. So if you want to have an acceptable amount of money you're going to lose or currency you're going to lose on a particular uh, trading pair, you want to make sure you stop those losses once this number, this value goes below a certain point. That's what those financial professionals are for. They're going to give you the advice that you need to figure out if you should be doing this in the first place. Um, and if you do do it, how to do it to your advantage. Um, we've gone over just the limit sell, meaning that once it hits a certain price, I want to pull out. Now, there are limit buys, you know, work similar to a stop loss, you know, where you're saving um, or, or strategically positioning yourself to protect what you already have versus what you may get with a limit sell. You know, so different strategies, contact your um, financial advisor and see what will work out for you. My name is Antoine Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll try to do it again. Keep watching. Keep hitting like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later.